or playing what, four-dimensional chess What don't you understand? You, you're looking at it. A Sweet 16 isn't a championship. It's not a Final Four. It's not, but you're winning two games in the NCAA tournament, yeah, well, which you is just far won more four. important. You would have just won four after a disappointing end of your regular season. And I do think winning – right now, if you ask – Greg Gard's resume, you would say two conference championships. You wouldn't say a sweet 16 and 018. You wouldn't. So, Craig, uh, I don't want to speak for them. I have to because they're working and not on the show. But their point is it's the it's a cumulative thing, and it's something that I think you take a ton of pride in. Sweet 16s for smaller programs, I think, are really cute. They're fun. But I don't think we're at the point where we celebrate. Now, is it a big blanking deal to make it to that next week? Your program gets all that extra exposure? Absolutely. Correct. But if you think, all right, we make the Sweet 16, then we get beat by whomever Thursday night in the week, in the second week, I would much rather be sitting here and saying, I, me personally, I want us to win in the tournament. That's what is. That's where the money's on the table. Just like the Packers going 15-1 and one and getting beat by the Giants, Nobody cares about that NFC North championship. But this is a little bit different in the fact, if I'm asking about Greg Gard, the first thing that comes to my mind is you won the 2020 simulated COVID national championship. That's a, that is some magazine. That's a great win. Championship. ESPN.com. Basketball yeah. power index. Uh, but he won two Big Ten outright championships. That's a big deal. Con- conference championships, like regular season yes. championships. Yeah, I. but that was not the argument. I thought you were talking about the conference tournament. I am. And I'm saying this weekend you said, oh, you win two games. And you did it. You just won four against two I big boy that. teams if you had so, beaten Illinois. All right. So, again, if you, if you would do us this solid, were your brothers arguing that a winning a Big Ten regular season title – is more conference. than a... It's not about the big... It's about the conference tournament because obviously we were watching the game. That's how we started talking okay. about it. And I'm because asking I... you right now, and this is the to the crux of the question, we all know big or a, uh, NCAA, or as you like to call it, National Basketball Tournament, they win. You win those games. It's a big deal. But when you look at the big picture, Bo Ryan's an outlier because we're going to talk about the Final Fours and that we got jobbed against Duke. Those are That's going to be your conversation. Dick Could happen Bennett, again in round two. Dick Bennett, final four. That's what we're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. With Greg Gard right now, let's say he coaches two more years and it's a, you know, he's middle of the pack, ba ba ba. Right now, if you're saying Greg Gard, his highlights, had they beaten Illinois yesterday, that is the third highlight on his thing. And they're all about in the same category. You got two Big Ten regular season championships and a Big Ten tournament championship. That holds some. That has some merit, even though I think we should get rid of them. I don't want the big. T- uh, even though it was great entertainment. Yeah, you said they were dumb. They are dumb. They're dumb because it doesn't really matter unless you win the so, whole thing. So the Sweet 16 that they reached at Madison Square Garden with Showy's belt and everything—that's not the top of the resume for guard. That would be fourth, in my opinion, after these two. These so you're three agreeing things. with your brothers? I'm. Th- I'm saying right now when I look at this, this is it, really confusing. I've, for me as a fan, it's about the Sweet 16. That's not the question I asked. The Don't question I asked, well, you're sitting here, this is really confusing. For me, it's it about is. the NCAA tournament because that's all that matters. You're supposed to be Johnny Journey guy. You always say, it isn't about this. It's about the journey of the season. And now you're going against that. I think most people will no, instantly react and say, it's about winning. The t- because you have two tournament games coming up this weekend, hopefully. That's Hopefully. what I think. Indeed. But when you look at the resume of these coaches and you start looking at their accolades, I don't think you're putting down, oh, they reached the Sweet 16 ahead of winning a conference championship. I don't. So I'm on Greg Gard's Wikipedia page. Uh, it lists for each season the year, the school, the overall record, the conference record, where they finished in the Big Ten regular season standings, and what happened in the NCAA tournament. It makes no mention about how they fared in the Big Ten conference tournament, which you yourself said is dumb, and all big conference tournaments are dumb. Smaller tournaments, smaller conference tournaments you are okay with. Love them. Yep. Um, 
reached the Sweet 16 in 15-16 and in 16-17, missed the tournament in 18, made the tournament, lost in the opening round in 19, won the simulated national title in 20, uh, won opening round games in 21 and 22, reached the NIT semifinals in 23, and now have reached the tournament again this year. Uh, If you are talking about a body of work, and this is where my confusion lies, uh, I would say that Big Ten regular season titles mean more than Big Ten conference tournament titles. Agree. But how far you get in the tournament, if this is, if Greg Gard never gets to an Elite Eight, no, the Sweet 16 will not be the most impressive thing on his resume. But... When it comes to how do you view your season, it is all about the tournament. Yes, totally I agree. agree with that, the journey that's... is so crucial. Yeah. And and the reason why the, the Big Ten tournament was so important for this specific Badgers team is because they were left for dead after losing 8 of 11. And then they reel off four victories in four days or whatever they did to get to the championship game. And they breathed life back into their season. Now, I agree with your concern that by breathing life into their season, by doing that, they now may be tired when it comes to playing in the National Basketball Tournament, as Mm -hmm. I've called it. Mm -hmm. I agree with everything you said. What I'm asking is, can it be the case that for the Badgers, given where they were, that this tournament was really important to get their you-know-what together? Whereas for Purdue, probably better that they lost and Zach Eady and the crew get the rest to get ready for the tournament because what do we remember about Purdue last year? I can tell you one person in my house who hasn't forgotten what they, they won, did in the tournament the last Ten, year. They won the Big Ten tournament. And then they lost in the first round of the NCAAs to become the second number one mm-hmm. seed to ever lose to a 16. Yeah. Fairly Dickinson. That's fairly accurate. <laughs> I, I guess when I when I got your text about this debate with your brothers and so I'm not Jason, here. let me ask you this: uh, I, You not, look at this right now. The done. season's over. The Wisconsin Badgers got beat on a Thursday night in Omaha, Nebraska, versus Kansas. I don't know who they could play. That or they beat Illinois yesterday. Well, you've got them what are you happy making the like, Sweet Sixteen? What are you putting it at? What are you happier about? If, if they beat James Madison and Duke and they lose to Houston in the Sweet Sixteen, okay. that's what you're saying. Thank you, Jesse. Scenario. Yeah. What are you? When you look back five years from now, what are you going to remember more? I still remember Showy's belt, and that was in the in a Sweet and Sixteen they lost game. That game, yeah. Right, thanks to Chris Chioza. Okay. So. I would you're think, on board with that. That's great. I, I'm, I'm not going to remember. Me about. I think like, I'm, you're I'm yelling not, at no me. One's, I'm you're, not no, yelling at you. Me. Uh, I'm not at all, Jesse. I he's, wasn't he's even not finished. Scolding no. you. Okay. you change the question, and if it's it's if it's guards' resume versus what you're remembering about the season, or what you care about, or what dictates whether the season's a success when or not. When you're listing accolades, when, which is what happens when people get into Hall of Fames or whatnot. You're going to look at it, and you're not going to say, Gardo made four Sweet 16s before you say he won a conference championship. You're not. Right? I, I agree. But in that's, the, what, that's my in question. The, in, the, in the moment, you are Mr. Wake Me in March, so you yourself are admitting For me, that you yeah. don't really care about the yeah. course of the Big Ten regular that's... season and winning the regular season title. For the Badgers, it's a little different because I do watch outside of Peacock games. I watch. I care. I want them to win. So it's a little different not when it becomes Peacock, this, no. but it still comes down to – Wake me in March. How do you do in the tournament? That is the crux of what we all care about. But when you look at it holistically, you go back and when you're listing it, winning a conference championship is better than being in a Sweet 16. Yeah. When you were predicting how this year's team was going to go, you did not say they are going to beat out Purdue and win the conference championship regular season title. You didn't predict boy, this team is playing really well. They're going to win a Big Ten tournament title. You said they're going to be a Final Four team. And then they went into a death spiral. I haven't given in yet. And by the way, 
they made the final two, which yeah, is even better than the final. That's very impressive. Yeah. Because you, what you two. really meant was the Big Ten tournament, not the NCAA tournament. I will tournament. need it. I, I, what I've sure, learned yeah. from you. Before Thanksgiving. What I've learned from you is say enough, but then make sure you leave yourself some outs. It's I'm a great piece I'm of advice that you've given. I'm glad I could teach you this. Yeah, I, 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 you're welcome for I'm gonna, my service. I'll tell you this. I feel sick about myself, and I won't do it, and I can't do it, and I will refuse to do it. I meant Final Four. And the sledding, it is going to be. But you be, meant Jordan Love. <laughs> it's going to be Thanksgiving 2024. Did you know that when you're doing the Iditarod, that when you're running up these hills, you have to get off of the dogs and run alongside when you're climbing hills? I thought the Iditarod was pretty chill, where you're just like mushing the dogs. When you're climbing big hills, you got to get your big butt off and sprint with the dogs. Yeah, the sled. dogs can't carry up the hill. I didn't realize that. Especially not I you. Learned. Oh yeah, you're you're real thin. That wasn't I've, very I've nice, seen Jason. You, too, Jason. <laughs> no, you no, are wait. being a complete and utter jerk today. <laughs> That's not true at no, all. No, it is. You're not even doing this. Oh, you're dumb. Oh, this box game's dumb. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, we're going to talk more about I, I the box? I never said the box oh, game was talk, dumb. I, oh, the Sweet 16. I'll, Why don't you tease I'll, it out? Da, 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 da. I never said, why don't you tease it out? You decided to do I'm not somehow you've got Jesse in your camp now. I need I need to find someone else because now I ask questions and Jesse is so afraid of you that he refuses to Maybe you're just wrong on this one. About you being a jerk? No. Maybe <laughs> yes, about the conference are. championship I might be. But not about you being a jerk star. No, sir. Uh well what I'm also not wrong about is the madness is back. And so is your chance at proving your hoops knowledge. It's the ESPN Wisconsin Bracket Challenge presented by Cousin Subs. Fill out a bracket, earn the most points at the end of the tourney, and get a $1,000 gift card to Cousin Subs. Start getting those scouting reports done now before the bracket is Fully set. We've got the play-in games or whatever. The first four coming up on Tuesday and Wednesday. And get ready. Fill one out on the ESPN Tournament Challenge at app or on ESPN.com. It's the ESPN Wisconsin Bracket Challenge presented by Cousin Subs. We believe in better. Visit ESPNWisconsinContest.com for full rules and details. Uh, let's play some trivia. I was thinking, what if we did trivia? Five? Have we ever done a five-piece where we did a five-piece nuggy? <sighs> On trivia, is that something we've ever have entertained? What? Do a five piece, like five for questions you, for no, when no, no. you're not here on Friday. No, no, no. I'm just not this week, but I'm saying in the future. Could you do a five piece? Is that something we could pull off? What? I don't understand what you're even asking. You get five contestants. Hey, and don't you read 15 don't be questions. a jerk. Store to them. <laughs> Stop I'm, being a jerk, Jesse. I'm not being a jerk. No, five I'm not piece. talking to you. We've done We're all double. Being a jerks to you. Have we ever done a five piece? You want to do five contestants at once? I'm asking if it's possible. It, it, no. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you. So yeah, I can just have a nice, easy dialogue. Not everything needs to be a fight, Jason. <sighs> Jesse, what's today's category and what what caller would you? Uh, maybe like if you spent like a little Devondre, more time I feel like sleeping Campbell right now. And a little less time. Not that anyone listening to this don't show would have any idea what we're talking about. I feel respected. feel like I'm being miscast and misused by you two idiots. <laughs> oh, idiots. Now who's well, You've called jerk. me fat. I wasn't said, very nice, Tom. <laughs> yes, but he's been really mean. I did not today. call you no, fat. You've been jerky. You've been jerk storish. Continue. Let's get to trivia. For the record, I'm afraid of both of you. The Sports Weekend Recap is the category recapping a very busy weekend in the world of basketball. Bunch of dumb conference tournaments, from what I've been told. 